Good morning, guys. I'm starting this vlog a little later than usual. I'm already decked out in my workout gear and I'm about to start my workout. It's already, what time is it, like 9, 9.20. So I got up like two and a half hours ago-ish and pretty much came downstairs, edited the vlog from yesterday right away, had breakfast, made Ken breakfast, had a little bit of my coffee, I'll finish that later, and got dressed for my workout. So you haven't really missed much. How freaking cute is this outfit? This is the, this is from Old Navy, they're both from Old Navy, but this is the, I think they call this like a low impact. It's kind of cute, it has like these like strappy, you're not gonna be able to tell. <laughs> it has like these like straps that are kind of thin, they kind of crisscross in the back, it's really cute. This one's like not super padded though, I wish it was more padded, but whatever. And then these are the, Elevate uh, built-in skull. These are the ones with like the really like thick elastic -y band and I just love being in a matching set it, Like makes me so excited. So I'm gonna get a workout in. It's 50 minutes today Which is extremely long strength and conditioning. So I'm already sore from doing a lot of strength stuff lately. So we'll see how this goes, but yeah, that's what's going on. I'm going out to lunch with my girlfriend today. If the freaking sun would come out and if it would warm up, that would be lovely. So that's also why I kind of want to like, get my workout done so I can shower and start getting ready. I'm going to get to working out and I will check in with y'all probably after. Maybe I'll include some clips. I usually don't include a ton of my workout clips just because I'm usually filming on my phone for Instagram. But sometimes I throw clips in here and there. Row. Back up. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Do not get here and roll up. Okay, and pull here. Long spine, butt is reaching back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, then your glutes together. Pause at your chest, push back up. Now switch legs. So you're kind of sitting here in this pause position. Hips are facing forward, knee is out. Sit, bend. So basically on this one, when your knees bend, your elbow bends. Elbows bend. Not just one, both of them. <laughs> Good job. Both knees are bending, you're sitting in that. I'm not done yet, but look at this way. Here, here, here. Oh my gosh, ew. Do y'all see how red my face is right now? Oh my gosh, that workout, it, I don't even know why it was so intense or so sweaty. It wasn't like total cardio or anything, but like look at the sweat here, literally my belly button, my like all on my thighs, literally looks like I peed myself, and my like knees and shins, like I literally just sweat through every inch of my clothes. Oh my gosh, I've cooled down a lot now, but my face is still gross and red. I'm just gonna go take a shower, wash my hair. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't realize I have like makeup all over my face. Alright, well I'm about to get ready and get this stuff off my face. But I'm actually going to be using a new product. I got this in my FabFitFun starter box. Which, sneak peek because that video is coming. Um, but this is the Tarte C Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. And I haven't actually tried this yet because I haven't like been doing my makeup. Not that this has to be worn with makeup, but I kind of wanted to put it underneath my makeup. I thought this packaging was so pretty. I feel like Tarte's packaging is always really pretty. So I'm going to give this a try. All right, I'm going to test this out and give it a go. I'll check back in with y'all. So that actually felt surprisingly really, really good. I do typically prefer kind of like more of a gel consistency in my moisturizer. And I think the reason I usually like that is because they kind of absorb, you know, quicker because they're like more water-based than like a cream, if you know what I mean. But I feel like that, even though it was kind of like a gel consistency, I feel like it felt kind of like a little bit thicker and heavier like in a good way than gel moisturizers typically do like I feel like they often just kind of like seep into your skin really fast which is good but this one just kind of feels like it was like a little extra hydrating and it feels really good I mean my skin's definitely tacky but maybe that'll be nice for keeping my foundation on like maybe this will be a good primer I'm gonna kind of use it as a primer today yeah I do really like that and it smells amazing it just kind of smells clean okay we kind of like oh my cap ready I did my makeup even did some eyeshadow I brushed out my hair. I'm gonna um, blow it out probably, which this will be the first time I'm not doing like braids so that I can have curls the next day. I'm gonna like straighten my hair, which I have not done in forever. But I need a little snack. Carrots and hummus. Mm. Also, 
can we take a second for the fact that I have contacts in? I have not worn contacts in like six months and it took me like literally half an hour to put them in. Cause I'm like out of practice. I was getting good at it and then I didn't wear them for so long. So I need to make a habit of wearing contacts more often. I love it cause you can actually see my makeup. So I wish I had done it earlier though. Like when I wear contacts, I like to put them in like first thing in the morning so that so I basically it's worth all the struggle of putting them in so that I can wear them for the whole day And I feel like I get the most like wear the most bang for my buck in this sense It would have just been nice to have them in all day, but I didn't even think of it. All right. We are in the car I don't know if I'm even in focus I just literally threw my hair up ratchetly because I didn't want it to be flying everywhere in the wind because I have all the windows open Because it is beautiful. It's like 74 degrees, which is literally ideal perfect I love it so much. I I don't know what's wrong with me. I swear, like, I'll start getting ready like two hours early before I need to leave and I still will just like barely make it in time. I don't understand why it takes so long to get ready. Like sometimes I can get ready in 20 minutes and then sometimes it takes me two hours and there is no in between. I don't understand. I put on some jewelry, a little outfit. I can, I was taking some pictures before I left, but I can show you guys my outfit later. I am on my way to lunch with my girlfriend. I think I mentioned that. I am so excited. I have not had this place in like so, so, so long and I've been craving it for so long. So I am so excited. A lot of big things happen at the moment very exciting things and I'm driving my car which I have not driven my car in a very very long time too we've just been using Ken's car but I was like well I haven't driven my car in a while so I probably should so anyway it's a little update I will show you guys lunch and I'm so excited that it's a beautiful day I'm so excited to be getting this food I'm excited to have like makeup on and have my hair done it just like feels really good this feels normal kind of like to put myself together and get lunch obviously we're just getting it curbside and then we're just gonna sit um, they have like tables and benches there it's kind of an outdoor area so I think we should be able to just like eat outside so this kind of feels normal which I'm excited about and it's starting to finally feel like spring I'm so like over all the cold weather so I am really living my best life today I'm super excited I had a crazy good workout I don't know if I said but that workout was like an hour and I burned like 700 calories which that was almost like a record that's an insane amount of calories and it was extremely hard extremely extremely hard i haven't posted my workout yet so that's also another thing that i need to remember to do i need to post a picture of my outfit all the things but now i'm just blabbering so i'll see you guys in a second did you get the the nacho bowl that you were talking about mm -mm. it looks super good because i get my regular bowl i wanted the nacho bowl look how beautiful it is today One time. Yeah. They also ended up giving me oh, a lot of the wrong things. So I have like way more food in here than I actually ordered, but well, it's fine. I'm sure you're not mad about that. No, it's totally not a problem at all. <laughs> you need your mask, get real. <laughs> Hi. Hello. 60% off. All right. Oh, look, these look like the shoes you're wearing almost. That's very you. Those are cute. Wow, someone's gonna have to hold us back. Uh, no one's here to hold me back. <laughs> Look at these earrings, y'all. I'm literally about to buy one of everything. All right, well, you already know we're back at Marshalls and Home Goods because we literally can't resist. The weather is freaking amazing. Like, this outfit I have on is like, it's like the perfect outfit for this weather. It's so beautiful. Like, look at the sky. And look, there's no line. Wow. All right, well, I'm a, such a big freaking dum-dum. <laughs> I um, I think you, I don't really know how much I vlogged whenever I was with Megan, but we had lunch. It was so good. That's a, kind of like a Chipotle, but like Mediterranean style. Incredible. And then we ended up going to Francesca's, which I think I filmed in there, but I don't know if I mentioned that it was Francesca's. They had 60% off the whole entire store, which is literally better than their Black Friday sale. It was crazy, and like I don't think there were any exclusions or anything. So um, we did go up around there, and then she needed to look for um, some shorts, so we went over to Marshall's. And um, it wasn't really crazy, like there was no line, but the line to check out was like half an hour. Yeah, it was weird. Um, and then we parted ways, and I had to stop by Target to do a return. So I ran in there, and chopped around, I grabbed two things. Um, I found ginger beer, but I got hibiscus ginger beer. You know it's probably better. Because I've been on the hunt for ginger beer. I haven't really been able to find it like anywhere, but I figured Target would have it. And then, so I grabbed a couple things, and then I realized I had a merchandise like gift card, but a merchandise credit and a gift card like are totally different in Target world, and you can't use a merchandise credit online, but you can use a gift card online. 
and I almost never shop at Target like in person. Well, normally I do, but I have not been for the last couple months. So I literally haven't been to Target in I think like two, three months. So I popped in there to do my return. Then I, I grabbed my two things, used my merchandise card, checked out, and then I got home and I'm like, where's my Target stuff? I literally looked all over my car and then I called Target and I left it at Target. Like, did I have a stroke? I don't understand how I did that. So now we literally turned our asses around. I got changed really quick and we're going back to pick it up. It's my one dumb thing of the day. All right, here is what I got at Target that I left, but I'm so excited about. I've been on the hunt for ginger beer and it's actually kind of hard to find, or at least it has been for me. But then I saw that they had a biscuits ginger beer. So I thought this would be kind of cool to try. The other ginger beer that I had was the same brand, but it was just like the regular ginger beer. So I thought this would be cool to try. So I'm very excited about this. You're not gonna believe this. That was kiss money. Well, that was way faster. I don't think that what she told you is correct. Well, maybe they're just much better to get it done. All right, here you go. Wow. So that's kind of cool, that thing that I just showed Ken. We kind of, to make a long story really, really short, if you've watched some of the other vlogs, we were like going back and forth on a million things with our insurance in regards to some of the like fertility treatments we had had done. We like kind of paid for something that the insurance ended up paying for. And it was a couple hundred bucks, so we were obviously needed to get our money back because technically the doctor got paid twice. It got paid by us and the insurance company. And they said it was gonna take like 50 business days or like something like that, like multiple months for them to even like look into it and all this stuff. Cause we had called and we were like, hey, how does it work to like get a refund, blah, blah, blah. And we were under the impression it was just gonna take literally forever. And then we just got a piece of mail and I opened it up and it's a check for the amount that we overpaid. Which like I said, we called about that probably two weeks ago, maybe. So we didn't expect to like, even hear anything about it for like another couple months. But so that's a cool little surprise that we were not expecting to get. But I mean, we were owed that money back. So that's very exciting, exciting things. I'm glad I went back to Target. I can show you um, the rest of my little haul. I'm gonna bring it upstairs, the stuff I got from Francesca's and Marshall's. So let's go do that. Also, my order from Off Broadway Shoes just came in too. So that's these four pairs of shoes. So I'm gonna try these on and show you guys these too. I just need to note that today is Thursday and I ordered these shoes on Tuesday. So they literally got here in 48 hours from when I purchased them, which is crazy. Everything else is taking literally like four weeks to get to me and this stuff took 48 hours. I thought that was crazy. So the first pair is these like, I think these are called the Adidas Retro Run sneakers. And I don't know, first of all, I think these run a little bit small. I got my normal nine and a half and they like, they're not crazy tight, but they feel a tiny bit small. I don't know how I feel about these. I like the style of them and I like that they're kind of like this like beige color. Like I think that it would go with a lot, but I'm not sure how I feel about this orange. I'm not sure how I feel about these. Okay, this next pair is these New Balance running sneakers. These were such a good deal. I got these for like $18. They're kind of a cool color combination. I'll show you all these like off my feet too, but I thought I would just show you them on as well. These are really cool. They're just like nice and simple gray and black with the teal. Like check mark. I think these are running sneakers too. These are really like sharp looking, I feel like. Okay, tell me these aren't so cool. These are just, I don't think these are running shoes. These are just like trainers. I don't know if I'm like showing you at a very good angle. Okay, so just so you can see them up close. This is the one pair. I actually decided I'm, I need to switch out some sizes. So I actually just placed another order and I'm gonna return all of these tomorrow. And I reordered four other shoes. So I actually reordered these. These I'm gonna return. They are cute, but they really just like kind of make my feet look fat. I'm still gonna link these guys for you and like all of these just in case y'all are interested. But yeah, these I'm not crazy about, so I'm gonna return those. These I'm also just like not crazy about, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna return these. I like the like, I like them from the top. I like how they're kind of wide up here, but I don't really like them from the side. And these were too small anyway, so I'm gonna return these. And then these I just reordered one size up as well. But I do really, really like these. And these are super, super comfortable. And then um, from Marshalls, I actually just got another pair of these Under Armour shorts. I bought like three pairs of these when I was there over the weekend. And I just love them. They are so comfy. They have pockets. They have the band. They're like, you know, mid-rise. And they're just like so flowy. They just fit so nice. So I got another pair of these. And then I got these kind of, they're kind of like biker shorts. They're honestly just like really tight, really short. Just like exercise shorts. Almost like volleyball shorts. But I love these just for like lounging in. And these were eight bucks. These are 
fila. And then these, I don't know how I did this, they were on the wrong hanger. But these are an extra small, which I'm not an extra small, I'm like a small. So these are unfortunately too small on me. They're really, really cute though. But, and they have like the little built-in underwear, which I thought was cute too. But yeah, I need to bring these back. These are too small. And then from Francesca's, I keep like a wallet like this just attached to my keys. It's my Daisy Rose one, but I've been using that for like almost a year now and it's just getting a little beat up. So I saw this one and it has the chain on it, which is perfect. And I love this because you can put all these cards on the outside. It has pockets and it also has a zipper for like putting cash or cards. And this was 60% off. So this came out to $4 six dollars which is crazy and it's really nice and i it was between this and black and i feel like black would go with more but i just really liked this color and then uh, another kind of like a wallet this is kind of just like a card holder but it's like magnetic and it's cheetah which is super super cute and i only really keep credit cards i don't really like carry cash with me so i thought this would be perfect and this was four dollars i feel like this would also be a good business card holder too and then i got two pairs of earrings i've been like really wanting a pair of these kind of earrings that kind of look like a double like two earrings in one almost and these had little lightning bolts on them how freaking cute are these and these came out to i think like five bucks and then i just thought this was like the daintiest little set kind of along the same lines it kind of looks like double hoops almost but they're really small and dainty and then i thought i could put these in my first holes and these in my second holes and it'd be a cute little set and this came out to i think eight bucks so yeah everything was like basically free it was such a good deal and i'm so excited about these oh my gosh it's like golden hour it looks so amazing in here and look how clean my kitchen is. I just love when this whole island is empty. All right, I'm going to get started on dinner finally, and I'll show y'all once it's ready because this is still part of the Home Chef video that I'm doing separately, so stay tuned for that, but I'll show you when I'm done. All right, y'all, we're about to eat. This is for dinner tonight. It looks so freaking good. Whoa, look at this. Steak. Look at that. Yeah. All right, this is so serious. It's the final episode. Are you sure it's the final episode? Yes. Dang. All right, let's do it. Oh my gosh, thank you, boy. What do you make of that? Well, there's going to be a lot of seasons to come, that's for sure. No, but I, seriously. I mean. I don't know about lots of seasons, but. I mean, at least a couple at more. At least one more. Oh, my eyes are so red. My contacts are, like, really hurting me, and I don't know if it's because something's wrong with my contacts or if my eyes are just not used to it but i need to take these contacts out they're like extremely yeah i think even the camera you can tell my eyes are red we just finished ozark as you can tell so that was i mean honestly though it wasn't like the wildest ending it no, was just it really unexpected wasn't. it was just unexpected you definitely would not ever guess if you aren't on the last episode of season three you will never guess in a million years what happens yeah, it's extremely unexpected like if you would have given me a multiple choice no, I would not have chosen that one. Oh, and then on Thursday, we can talk to everybody about it. Oh, yeah, sure. Our brother-in-law and our nephew's birthday party is on Thursday. We just found out. It's in a week from today. <laughs> Nobody was going to tell us. So, anyway, yeah, I don't know. I expected it to leave us a little more hanging. I know, me too, but... Because, like, we're not hanging now. Like, I mean, it was, like, unexpected, but it's not like, oh, shoot, like, what's happening next? It's not a cliffhanger, I wouldn't say. But maybe that's good, because we're not, like, dying. To know if the last episode before this was the last episode of the season then that would have been a cliffhanger oh yeah you would have been like what the fuck <laughs> that, you can't end a season like that you can all right well i have an early pretty early morning tomorrow so we got to get to bed i need to take these freaking contacts out so over it we will see you guys tomorrow